up guys this logic looks and today we got a quick little banger for you guys man in today's video we are actually going to be going over a potential auction house crash that might hit 2k tomorrow bro we are going to be talking about how you guys can actually make some mt how you guys could actually save some mt as well by selling some players early and when to sell your players basically so we're going to get into the video man i am definitely very excited to get into it if you guys already leave a like down below hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel it means the world to me bro and we're going to get right into it without further ado let's talk about the auction house and why the market might crash tomorrow boys first things first before we get into the rest of the video i do want to start off by mentioning a few things number one no this video is not going to be 100 percent accurate nobody in the world can predict exactly what's going to happen with the market or it would just be too easy to be honest the market is basically you know it's just could change at any moment it's literally something that's unpredictable but after playing 2k for a few years like me personally bro i could kind of tell when the market is going to crash and i feel a huge market crash coming very very soon maybe not a huge one but i definitely feel a market crash coming soon and we're going to talk about why later on in the video but if you guys take a look at the prices of cards just taking a look at the prices just scanning through the market bro you guys can see cards have already dropped a ton and i mean a ton as you guys can see bro even dark matters for example i mean derozan he's only like 250k mj you know less than 400k we got this brand new will chamberlain which is supposedly the best card in the game or one of them and he's literally under 400k which is crazy we got hero zion being this cheap we got you know t mac probably the most expensive dark matter being around like 600k so i mean that one still has value but most of the cards as you guys can see kind of lost their value and if we take a look at opals obviously with the addition of dark matters opals are basically like pink diamonds were last year these cards have completely tanked in price you guys can take a look bro not many opals are very very expensive even new opals that they drop for example that new brendan ingram that card is low-key nice it would have been so much more expensive if we didn't have dark matters in the game but since we have dark matters and since people are comparing opals to dark matters these cards start to lose value and as you guys can see bro most of these cards are pretty much dirt cheap on the market like none of them are really going for anything too too crazy yes we have a few opals here and there that go for like 250 to 300k but if you take a look at the market bro most of the opals in the game are kind of cheap and the dark matters are slowly dropping in price too which means the auction house crash is not gonna happen it's already technically happening as you guys can see like everything is starting to lose value opals are starting to lose value at a rapid rapid pace pink diamonds pretty much don't even have value at this point in the game like you could probably get any pink diamond for under 50k in the game so definitely kind of crazy how fast things move but we're gonna get into the main reason why i think an even bigger market crash is coming so let's get into that you know next step bro let's talk about it let's get into it so boys the main reason i think the auction house is gonna crash even more than it already is crash bro the main reason is 2k is gonna start dropping way more packs i feel like obviously we only have like i think it's like 18 19 weeks somebody on twitter had a post about it i think it's like 18 weeks left in the season which means 18 fridays left in the you know 2k21 season i guess you could say so after this is gonna be 2k22 so 18 more weeks i guess 18 more fridays for content and somebody identified that we have like seven or eight idols drops that are still yet to happen and honestly if you guys think about it bro if eight of those fridays are just for idols it just makes no sense so i feel like 2k is gonna start dropping packs on tuesday as many people have mentioned on twitter bro people think that 2k is gonna start dropping idols packs on tuesday they still are gonna drop super packs we still haven't even got you know some crazy super packs because last year if you guys remember bro we ended up getting like 2010 super packs 20 you know 2000 super packs 1990 super packs we just got a bunch of different super packs so we're probably gonna get those soon as well so a lot of prices of you know cards on the auction house are gonna go down and we'll talk about how you can capitalize on this because obviously there's a way to capitalize on market crashes so we'll talk about that in a second but that's one of the main reasons i think you know the content and everything else is gonna you know kind of tank the market another reason is we are about to see some very hyped up cards very soon if you guys take a look at the tto offline you know vote you guys can see we got that card right there this man danny for some reason they juiced this card up like absolutely crazy and he's a free card which always means once they drop a free card bro they are about to go crazy with the paid content so you guys already know we are about to see some crazy crazy cards in 2k over the next couple of days and weeks we're probably going to see some more hyped up names because right now in the dark matters like that have dropped so far none of these names are really hyped up like jordan is a dope you know irl name but in the game jordan is just you know doesn't bring the same hype so we're probably going to be seeing cards like maybe Giannis, maybe lebron kd cards like this are going to truly tank the market so definitely be on the lookout for cards to drop be on the lookout for when you know 2k drops content be on the lookout for super packs as well those are the things that are mainly going to drop you know the auction house even more than it's already dropped so um yeah that's basically the reasons 
why you know the market is going to crash we're going to get into some other reasons though on how you could actually capitalize and make mt as well as save mt from the market crash boys it's honestly very very simple the way to save mt if you guys want to save mt we're going to look at making mt right after but if you want to save mt it's honestly very very simple it's a simple formula all you got to do and i know it's going to sound stupid how simple it is but all you got to do is literally sell everything with value so if you have a bunch of dark matter stacked up in your collection and you don't want to lose mt and you want to save as much mt as possible what you got to do is literally just sell those cards and then buy them back later on once they drop in super packs because usually when cards get included in super packs they usually drop by at least a little bit sometimes even more than a little bit and to be honest prices of cards are just going to go absolutely crazy these next next couple of weeks to a month so definitely if you want to save mt if you want to play it smart if you want to play it super safe what you can do is literally just sell all your expensive cards it depends you know who you have at the end of the day it's up to you to make the decision like i'm just saying bro i'm just putting this video out for you guys to you know kind of help you out and kind of give my opinions on what i think is going to happen of course you know you can have your own opinion and that is completely fine as well so if you don't think cards are going to drop then you know keep everything you have that is completely fine and understandable but in my opinion i think the best thing to do is sell all cards with value which is what i'm probably going about about to do tonight the reason i want to do it tonight is because i feel like a huge content drop is coming tomorrow so definitely gonna sell all my cards with value anything that has value if you have any dark matters i would recommend selling them again it's up to you but if you want to play it safe sell them if you have opals with value definitely sell them because all of these dudes with value are going to end up getting a dark matter card and it's going to tank the value of their opal for example lebron james we are overdue for a new lebron card we're probably going to get a you know dark matter lebron in the near near future which means this inferno lebron is about to tank in price i could see him being as low as like 150k and right now he's probably like what 250 230 when he sells so i mean obviously play it how you want to play it but me personally if you want to save mt and you want to you know play it safe definitely sell all your cards that end up having value on the market right now now boys if you want to make mt during these market crashes i mean it's very very simple on how to do it it is honestly very easy number one obviously you can snipe when cards come out you know for example when we get super packs you can literally just you know get on the filters when those drop and you know snipe for a few hours you should be able to get something and make mt but the other way you could actually make mt during super packs and during market crashes is buy cards that have dropped a lot so for example let's just say 2k drops super packs in like three days and this luca right now that is like 310k he ends up dropping to like you know 220k from the super packs somehow i know that's not going to be you know a realistic amount but let's just say he drops to 220k the thing you might want to do is go ahead and bid on him for like 210 220 try to get him for cheap and try to add him to your collection for a few days once those super packs leave the market all you got to do is sell the card back he might not have his original value of 310,000, but he might still you know go up by 50 60k he might be chilling at like you know 290 280k although cards will probably drop when they get included in super packs what you want to do is you know still buy low and kind of just sell high when they are out of packs when they're you know there's less supply and there's just more demand for the cards so that's literally all it is it is very very simple if you want to make mt just find a card it could even be a budget card for example you know i guess you could do it with the guy like tyrese halliburton maybe you know you could go diamond tyrese check what he's going for he's probably like seven eight nine k right now you could probably bid on him for like six k five k and then just flip them for an easy profit when he's out of packs because some of these cards will go up if they have value on people's teams and for example this diamond tyrese halliburton is one of the better budget cards in the game which means he has some value on his card and people will still be willing to pay for him down the line in the game boys just to summarize everything all into like a few sentences number one i do feel an auction house crash coming very very soon and it's going to be due to the content that 2k stars dropping and the crazy dark matters and the hyped up names we're going to get so that's why the auction house is going to crash number two if you want to save your mt and make the most out of it you might want to sell your valuable cards right now if any card that you have in your collection has value you might want to sell it right now that is just my personal opinion and what i'm personally going to do as well and number three if you want to make mt bro definitely buy cards when they are low when people are undervaluing them you just got to know the value of the card when people are undervaluing bro you definitely want to buy and then you know kind of sell later it is as simple as that very very simple very basic but definitely something you guys should be on the lookout for because the auction house crash will hit very soon and it will kind of go crazy just like it did last year and uh yeah boys that's pretty much gonna do it for today's video it was just a simple little video talking about the market and what might happen in the next couple of days weeks or even this you know next upcoming month so definitely 
be on the lookout notice this sign when it's about to happen once you guys start seeing you know super packs coming crazy content on tuesday then definitely recognize that the market crash will probably occur soon but um yeah it's pretty much gonna do it for today's video just something quick and simple stay tuned for tomorrow bro we probably got a stream in the morning for the new content and we got an absolute banger of a video dropping tomorrow that you guys do not want to miss also this weekend finna be lit so definitely stay tuned man make sure you have those notices on so you don't miss the videos leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it man let's try to get the video to 150 likes if possible that would be greatly greatly appreciated hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and i'll catch you guys in the next one man i love you stay safe stay blessed i'll see you peace when i spit that cash 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 it's a profit or it's hitting like a sniper sniper like i'm logic they say good looks but the looks ain't popping up down up down that's a fatality up down on your bitch why you staying mad at me i'll write another song and it's saying you got it you don't compare me to newman i'm more than a prodigy